Do you have a single stage press that produces really accurate ammo, but it's a pain in the butt whenever you're trying to load something where you need to switch out dies all the time? Well, me too. And I've been doing a lot of pistol load development lately and decided I wanted to switch my Reading Big Boss 2, as you can see here, over to use the Hornady Lock and Load conversion bushings with the little insert and the quick, I think they're eighth turn, uh, bushings that you can see here. In this video, I'm going to show you basically how to do the conversion to swap it over. It's fairly simple, but I figure it might be easier for some of you guys out there. So let's get into it. Now, first thing you want to do is grab a adjustable wrench. You can see I got one here. However, I have a little bit of a problem. My adjustable wrench is not big enough. So what we're going to do instead is grab this obscenely large Craftsman one and a half inch socket, which you can see here, fits nice and snug over the top of that bushing. Now, of course, that's in there pretty good, so I don't have the hand strength to turn it by hand. So we're going to grab this also obscenely large Craftsman three quarter inch breaker bar, throw that on here, and just crack them loose. Alrighty, it's still stuck, so I'm going to take a second and grab a mallet. We're going to need to crack it loose. All right, got here our nice mallet. I'm basically just going to do that again. Drop that socket on there. Be careful not to scratch the finish when you do this. And I'm just going to basically tap on the handle here with the mallet. I'm going to try to crack that guy loose there. I'm going to hold on to that. And we're turning. Now, apply a little bit of elbow grease. And we back it out. Since so thread it in there fairly tight, so it's a decent bit of a challenge. And that officially does it. We have the old reducer insert out. Now, I'm not 100% sure here whether I use some kind of Loctite if this was backing out on me. Again, I've had this for several years. But I think what we're going to do next is go in here with a Dremel and wire brush, get these threads cleaned out so that it's ready to uh, have the inserts threaded back in. We're just going to blow that out a little bit compressed air. And wipe the threads out with a lightly oiled cleaning rag. And now we're going to take our hardy kit open this guy up and you'll see this piece here no focus this piece here with the threads on the outside is the one we're looking for one thing on this one and I wish they had a little bit of knurling or something here on the top I really don't want to chew that up I'm putting it in, but let's hope it threads in easy enough. I gotta get them square. Alrighty, there we go. Alrighty. And we are in. So that's gonna thread down nice and easy. Now there is a chance I may want to switch between these two when I'm doing precision kind of work. So I'm not going to apply Loctite unless it becomes really an issue of backing out. What I am gonna do is take a cloth here 
and just wipe off those threads, those cleared. I'm just gonna start this guy here and I'm just gonna put a dab of oil right there, dab of oil there, and dab of oil there. Down in. And the first time you actually use this with a die, that will take out a lot of that slack there. Okay, that is bottomed out. I will test it. I have here one of the bushings. You can see they have these little lugs on them, and they do have an O-ring on the bottom side, basically to make them lock in. So I'll press down and twist in just like that. And then rotate it back, and then lift right out. I'm going to go get a die, and we're going to actually snug the bushing down properly. Alrighty, I'm back with the die. This happens to be just a 9mm expander die here. I'm basically going to drop in the insert, and now we're just going to run this die down. Okay, now we just take our adjustable here on that lock ring, and I'm not worried here so much about getting the lock ring snug to the bushing as I am getting this bottom bushing snugged into the frame. So we're just gonna... Good there, a gentle bump on it. And now... We have that guy that's sitting nicely in the bushing. Drops in, locks in, spins out, and you can see I am turning counterclockwise as hard as I can, and this bushing is in the top of the press. In order to get it out all the way, so say the die is locked in position, you'd unlock it, come back on it with your adjustable, and twist further rearward, and you can see now we're spinning out the bushing. That's about all there is to it, it's actually not really complicated at all. Again, to lock it in place, screw that down. I can hold on to it here. Pull against. And now that is tightened up in the frame. Come back on this guy here. Slug down my adjustable a little bit. Nice bump. And now we have quick insert dies. really all there is to it. Now this will make the reloading process a lot faster, like I said, especially if you're doing a lot of pistol reloading where you need to change out dies frequently. Now instead of threading them in and out, simple twist and they're in place and it's that easy to take them out. So if you're doing batch loading, super useful and I always have the solid bushing here if I ever want to convert back to that for any kind of like ultra high precision and so on. That's all there is to installing the Hornady Lock and Load Conversion Kit for a standard single stage press. This is the Reading Big Boss 2, and this one uses, oh, well, I gotta get my thread size right, inch and a half thread. If you guys have any questions or you wanna see anything featured about this one, leave it in the comments section down below. As always, thanks for watching us here on the Reloading Craft channel. Appreciate you guys watching to the end of the video. Stay safe out there, keep on reloading, and sometimes that means reloading a little faster by changing your press to use quick change bushings. Stay safe. We'll catch you later.